trying this again because my video just stopped working from filming from my computer, so hopefully this works. Um, so I've been making my own laundry detergent, household cleaners, beauty products for a while now. And so I want to share with you, I just ran out this morning of detergent. I tossed in a load of laundry and now I'm out, so I have to make it again. Hey, Sid. <gasps> Hi, this is so exciting. Okay, now I can actually see you all. This is great. Okay, so this is actually a super easy thing to make and there's a lot of recipes out there. I did a ton of research on this to try to find one that really worked for me. And there's a ton of recipes out there for all natural detergent, but the thing about them is that they require you to like, um, what's the word for it? Like grate a bar of soap and then do all these crazy things that are definitely not gonna fit into my normal life. And if it's too hard, it's probably not gonna happen. <laughs> so I know that for myself and I know that for all of us. And okay, <clears throat> super easy. Um, I also want to share and touch on quickly why it's so important that we don't use these products from the store. So I actually bought this, <laughs> which is kind of embarrassing because I was at the grocery store. This was like six months ago or something before I started making my own. And I was at the grocery store and I needed it, so I picked it up and they didn't have another alternative option where I was at the time and we just needed to get laundry done, so I picked it up. And you know what I recognize today is actually there is no ingredients listed on this label at all. Like, I was looking to see, okay, well, what's in here and like, what's the reality of it? Literally not even one freaking ingredient listed on here. There could be anything in this, first of all. Second of all, um, I have some facts that I've compiled because I love facts about this stuff. It gets, I get so geeked out. Um, so one thing that I found said that laundry detergent products emit 17 toxins that go unlisted on the label that can cause problems ranging from skin irritations, which would be the low end of things, to neurological damage, which is permanent, <laughs> unfortunately. And I shouldn't be laughing about that because it's very serious. And actually, I also found something else that was saying that when they tested, um, what's that, like Tide Free and Clear, or Tide, clean and clear or something like that um, that's marketed for mothers to use on their baby's clothing there were actually many different chemicals in there that were very harsh and that caused neurological damage uh, skin irritation all of these things um, which is not okay that is not okay with me and I'm not willing to buy into that and have that be the case um, the second piece is one third of all scented detergents contain at least one chemical flagged by the EPA as potentially causing cancer. And if it's flagged by the EPA for potentially causing cancer, the likelihood is it probably does. And so even if it doesn't, I'm gonna stay away from that because there's so much research and so much red tape and things that goes into even testing a chemical in the first place. So if they're testing it in the first place, there's probably probable cause that it actually is an issue and it is a toxin or a carcinogen. Um, the other piece of this is I was listening to a podcast a few months ago and um, it was actually The Period Party by Nicole Jardim, Jardim um, who was on my podcast. So if you're curious about learning more about her and that, that podcast, you can look it up on iTunes or just Google it. Um, it's called The Period Party. And I can't remember the exact episode, but they had an expert on talking about chemicals and the testing of chemicals in our world and in our environment. And they said that there were over like 200,000 chemicals that have been created, um, you know, in a lab, tested in a lab, created, that are used in consumer products today. Of that 200,000, only 800 have been tested for whether they are harmful or not, whether they are safe. And of those 800 that have actually been tested, only like 30% of them were okay, maybe. That's like a concern, that's me being like, you know, giving them more, more leeway than is probably the case. I can't remember the exact figures, but anyway, 
crazy amounts of chemicals out there in our environment floating around, in our clothing, in our detergents that we're putting on our skin, in our products that we're using to clean our homes, and all of this stuff. Insane, right? Like, we're supposed to be cleaning. When we think about cleaning, we think about actually cleaning something and not just putting a layer of chemicals on it, right? So wild. Um, the other piece of this is that we're not just breathing in the fumes from the laundry detergent, from the scented detergents and fabric softeners are really bad in this department. Um, and also the, um, what are they called? The, the fabric softener like sheets that you put in your, what am I thinking? I can't think of the term, but you know what I mean, that you put in the dryer with your clothes. They actually have a ton of chemicals as well. And the problem with this is that we're putting the chemicals on our clothes and our sheets and our, you know, any type of fabric in our home. Then we're putting them on our bodies, which is our body's large, or our skin, which is our body's largest organ, which we know if I were to topically apply something like lavender to my skin, it would instantly soak into my skin, and that's a great access point because there are pores on our skin that allow <clears throat> substances to seep into our skin because they're fat soluble. So that's an issue when we're both breathing them in, which is another great benefit of essential oils, and I can kind of get to that later, but we have an olfactory benefit to smelling an essential oil because our brain actually, like the scent bypasses our, our brain and our logical mind and goes straight to our central nervous system and has an instant effect. So we can't, like our other senses, we can kind of think about it, rationalize, whatever, we have no decision when it comes to what we smell. It is our strongest scent and it activates our central nervous system right away. So, fun facts. Okay, um, there are so many others and I can link up this article that I pulled. Um, it's called 10 Dirty Facts About Laundry Detergents and it's by smartclean.wordpress.com um, and there's a lot of research on there and citing and stuff if you're interested in more. Okay. So the way that I do this, also like, let me just restate, none of these chemicals or anything was even listed on this bottle. None. It says, attacks tough stains better, cleans over 101 stains, 70 loads, whiter whites, brighter brights, baking soda fresh, which is okay, because we're using baking soda for this. But other than that, we don't know anything about what's actually in this which is scary and so wrong. As a consumer, you should know what the heck is in a product you're buying. It should be on the label. And somehow there's like a loophole with the FDA that apparently these companies don't have to report that, which is BS in my opinion. Okay, I get real fired up and passionate about this. So what I did was, this is the easiest way I've found to do this. You can do this in batches, you can get additional plastic bottles and stuff to use, but for me personally, I washed this out, cleaned it out, and I'm just reusing it because I already have it, and why buy something else um, when I'm just gonna recycle this or throw it out. So, I've been using this, and what I did is I filled it up with water to about like here-ish, like I've had some, you know, I left some space because I'm gonna be adding a couple other ingredients to this, and I want it to fit in the bottle and not waste product, so I filled it almost all the way up, popped this in a um, like a pot on the stove and heated it up a little bit because we need the water to be warm so that the um, everything will blend together and actually stay together. Um, so then I have one half of a cup of Dr. Bronner's Pure Castile Soap. And this is the peppermint one, this is my favorite, but you can also get this in unscented um, lavender, there are lots of things. Um, the essential oils that they use in this are not as strong as like a doTERRA essential oil, for example, but what's in here is water, organic coconut oil, potassium hydroxide, organic palm kernel oil, organic olive oil, uh, mentha arvensis, which I believe is just peppermint oil, said a fancy way, <laughs> organic hemp oil, organic jojoba oil, citric acid, and tocopherol. So all good stuff, nothing that's harmful or toxic or anything. 
Um, and this, I actually, you can see it, you know, I've had this bottle for a while and I use it for almost everything. And I still only have, like, I'm still almost at a full bottle. I think this was like maybe $15 on Amazon Prime. Um, you can also find it at like Target and a lot of stores carry it now. If you go to Whole Foods, it's definitely there. Um, Trader Joe's has it, I believe. Yeah, they definitely do. Um, so you can find it in lots of places. It may even be now in like normal drug stores. I haven't really looked because I just love to Amazon Prime stuff and have it arrive at my door because that's easier, but <laughs> you know, and this is a great company. They've been around since 1858, so obviously they're doing something right. Um, this is, it's an all one soap. So it says 18 and one hemp peppermint pure castile soap. It's certified fair trade, made with organic oils, the whole shebang. It's a great product. Um, <clears throat> You can, there are many different things on here that you can use it for. It actually has the, um, does it? Yeah, it has at least 10 ideas for you on the bottle itself, but if you Google search things that you can do with this, they're plentiful. When I was working on a farm in uh, Massachusetts over the summer, a few years ago when I was in college, um, I actually took this with me and didn't have any other products because you can use it as shampoo, you can use it as um, a body wash, you can use it as a household cleaner if you dilute it properly, you can use it for anything. I use it in the shower as like a body wash and it's awesome, but I also have been using it in a lot of cleaning products and things in my home and this laundry detergent is one of them. So let's see, I am, I have you on my... I have this like janky setup now because I was going to do it on my computer and then it stopped working. So I poured the hot water into here from the pot on my stove and it's just warmed up. I didn't like boil it, just kind of heat it up a little bit. Something I've done in the past too is I have this electric kettle and so it has a lot of different settings so I could put it on like a lower setting and fill that up to however much I need because it has like a volume measurement here. And then I'll just pour that into this container or whatever container that you have. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. Um, typically, you don't want to use a plastic container if you're using essential oils, therapeutic grade essential oils, because it will break down the plastic and you'll end up with the toxins from the plastic in whatever you're consuming. But because we are diluting this so heavily and because it is not something we're consuming or ingesting, it's okay. Um, so if you don't, if you only have plastic, don't freak out. It's okay. Um, I use ceramic. This is ceramic, but um, so yeah. So there's hot water in here, and it's filled up to about here, so I can have some space to add the additional ingredients. So right now I'm adding a half cup of Dr. Bronner's, right in there. Easy, done. Um, I'm also adding one third cup baking soda. I just have this around, like probably everyone does in your fridge or wherever in your home. Um, super easy. You probably already have it. And Dr. Bronner's, I recommend just having around for many different uses because it is so multi-purpose and it's such a good product. So now I'm putting in one third cup of baking soda. And then this recipe also calls for one or three tablespoons of coarse salt. I don't have coarse salt, I just have normal salt that I need to get rid of, so I'm using that. Coarse salt is just like um, sea salt or something. So if you have that, awesome. You're way cooler than me, way ahead of the game here. But um, someone came to visit me and they bought normal salt, so I'm just using that. And it's important you don't use Epsom salt. I actually looked this up because I had a ton of that to use. Don't use Epsom salt, just use coarse salt, um, sea salt, whatever. So three tablespoons of that. <clears throat> now I'm just whisking all of this stuff together. I wish I had a better angle here so you could see me doing this, maybe there. So I'm just whisking this together and kind of letting it settle. And now the last step is just to add your essential oils. And I prefer to use doTERRA. If you need access to them, you can DM me and I can give you the info and everything. But if you have Young Living or something like that, totally fine. What I don't recommend is getting them from the grocery store and definitely don't order them on Amazon because there is no standard and 
um, doTERRA actually doesn't, I know people who have ordered like their doTERRA oils on Amazon and because they don't have an official agreement, there's no way to guarantee that you're actually getting those oils properly. A lot of times people will, because this is a smart business thing to do, even though it's crook, crooked, um, <laughs> would be to dilute these oils and add a carrier oil so they still smell like the oil, so there's no way that you really would know, but you can't ingest them, and if you did, they wouldn't be as powerful or potent. So, just to be safe, don't do that. Um, also, a lot of the essential oils you'll find at like, even Whole Foods and stuff. I haven't done a ton, a ton of research, but I do know from what I've heard and from my, you know, other people's opinions and things and research that I've done, um, secondary research that those aren't necessarily the best ther certified therapeutic grade. The great thing about doTERRA or Young Living or something like that is that they actually, and I don't know about Young Living, but I know for doTERRA, they do a lot of um, testing of the oils. There's a really large um, science component to this. They're sustainably harvested and grown and they're supportive of the farmers and everything. So they're not like you know, treating everyone unfairly in the process to get these oils and things, which is really important to me. Um, okay, so now that I've mixed that up, there's already a little bit of peppermint scent happening here. And if you were doing this yourself, you could you could get that or whatever flavor, uh, scent, not flavor, of um, Dr. Bronner's you choose to get. That'll sort of inform the way that this smells, obviously. Um, but, I said in my comment, or my uh, header, that I like to make mine smell like Anthropology because that's my favorite store in the whole world and I love it and if I can, why not? So there's actually an Anthropology blend that someone brilliant came up with um, and you can find this, like I Googled it and I also found it on Pinterest before and I just love it. It's actually diffusing behind me right now and I just freaking love it. So here's what it is, super easy. Um, for this recipe, you'll need a total of 20 drops of doTERRA oil, um, and so I'm going to have to kind of tweak this to fit that, but this, the uh, Anthropology blend that I use to diffuse is two drops of Siberian fir, that's this essential oil, um, two, three drops of grapefruit, you can kind of imagine what that might smell like. And then Citrus Bliss, which is a comp, and that's two drops of Citrus Bliss. So two drops of fur, three drops of grapefruit, and two drops of Citrus Bliss, which has wild orange, lemon, grapefruit, mandarin orange, bergamot, tangerine, clementine, and vanilla bean extract oil. Um, so I love this. It's very like beautiful. It's almost like a creamsicle smell a little bit. It's awesome. Um, and since total, that would be three, four, five, six, seven drops, then I need to triple each of these numbers. So it'll be two times three is six, three times three is nine, two is six. Okay, so I need six drops of fur, which I will put in now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I need three drop or nine drops of grapefruit. One, two, and six drops of Citrus Bliss. Okay, great. Oh, it smells so good. All right, so I'm stirring that up and then I will just pour this right back in to this container and then I'll pop it in my laundry room and use it as normal laundry detergent and it's amazing. The only thing you need to know about this is that you wanna make sure that you shake well before you use it every time um, because these ingredients can kind of like settle and separate because they're oil and water and soap and all this stuff, all this good stuff. So you just want to make sure that you shake it well before you use it. And that's the only caveat. You use just as much as a normal detergent. So if you have a bottle that you're reusing, you just fill up this cap, pop it in, do your thing, clean your clothes, toxin free. Um, and important next step that I want to share with you is I love for my clothes to have a really great smell and if you use traditional like laundry detergents or fabric softeners or um, 
those dryer sheets, then you probably feel that way too. And you don't have to skimp on that. This is actually way better of a scent in the first place. It's chemical free and it really is like the essence of the scent. So you're not getting all these like crazy like artificial scent situation that happens where it's like too much and almost gives you a headache. Um, that will never happen with essential oils because your body is designed to be able to process them in the right way. And so it doesn't feel like too much or like a chemical overload or like, I can't even, I personally can't even walk down the like cleaning product aisle in the grocery store, in a traditional grocery store or at like Target or or Target's not bad, but I literally, there's only a Walmart, which I really hate on James Island and where I live. So sometimes I'll have to pop in there and grab something. And the other day I was looking for like an eco-friendly cleaning product because I moved and I just needed something quick and I didn't have all my things set up, um, but I needed to clean before moving in because it was not super clean. And I couldn't find anything. They didn't even carry it unless it was in a totally different section. But I was walking through the cleaning product aisle and I was like, gagging and dying because it smelled so bad. It smelled like chemicals and it was just like, ugh, I'm so sensitive to it. So if that's you and you're sensitive to this as well, then maybe this would be a great option for you. Um, or if any members of your family are, this would be a really great option. So I have these wool dryer balls. They come in a pack of six and I think they're like 10 bucks and you keep them forever. So you don't ever have to like throw them away or whatever. Um, they stay really fresh and awesome. And I just pop these in with my laundry in the dryer. If you don't hang your clothes out to dry um, and you do have things that you have to pop in the dryer, they smell so good still. And I've used them like three times after putting like a few drops of essential oil on each. So these are really awesome. You can get them on Amazon Prime. I have them on my Amazon shop page. Um, so you get the right ones. I researched and got the best value and all that jazz. So awesome. I added, the last time I did laundry, I added um, just like two drops of lavender and patchouli to each one. And I just like literally put them on top of my dryer and then just like boop, 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 like over them and totally worked. It was awesome. And they still smell great. They still smell like patchouli and lavender. So that was my I, my custom scent. And also I have a ton of fun with this because I can just make it whatever I want. And I get to like play and experiment and it feels like I'm really reconnecting to this like inner wisdom and he, natural like healing ability and my natural femininity and just a lot of beautiful things that I think we lose touch with sometimes. We don't really literally slow down and smell the flowers and when you're using like a floral essential oil or something, that's a literal thing. But you know, it's so nice to have these in your home and to just like be able to use them for whatever. Um, last night I made a quick hair mask with coconut oil and I used two drops of each geranium oil, which is awesome for like beauty and hair and just everything. It's really great. Um, it's a very high vibe oil. They call it the poor man's rose <laughs> oil because rose is so expensive, but geranium is a great um, substitute and option that's a little less expensive. Well, way less expensive. Um, and I drew, used some sandalwood and some lavender. So I just put two drops of each of these in a little like bowl that I have and um, a table, like two, one and a half to two tablespoons of coconut oil. Um, heated up the coconut oil a little bit before so that it was more mixable and blendable and then just popped that on my hair last night after taking a shower and did a face mask while it was on. It was so lovely and um, this morning I didn't really wash it out well enough. Um, it was the first time I did it so I'm still learning um, and I just really need to get my hair done. But anyway, um, yeah. Uh, what are the balls called again? They're just dryer balls. They're like um, wool. They're made of wool and I have them in my Amazon shop if you want me to send you the link of like the exact ones that I use. I love these because they came in a cute little pouch thing and they're really great. There are six of them in the pack and I think they're like like 986 or something. They're like 10 bucks, but I've had you can keep them forever. They never go bad. You never have to throw them out, whatever. You just add some essential oils on there. Um, 
and customize. And you'll see like these still faintly smell like uh, patchouli and lavender, but it, it sort of wears off and then you can just pop on a new scent. So yeah, that's that's my my favorite. Um, what else was I going to tell you? Something. Oh, other essential oil ideas for laundry detergent that are awesome. Um, doTERRA has a blend called On Guard, which is a protective blend. It's really great for immunity. Um, I think if you use Young Living, they have an, a blend called like Thieves Oil or something. It's the same blend pretty much. Um, except this one for some reason smells better to me because I've smelled the Thieves blend and I don't really like the smell, but this one smells great. Um, another quick tip for this, you can pop it in, you know, this recipe. You can also use it as like a mouthwash, which is amazing. Um, for immunity. I like to keep this and peppermint by my bathroom sink and a little like glass cup. I have these like little baby glass cups. They're so cute. And I just put in like a drop of each or two drops of each and some water when I'm brushing my teeth and just swish that around for a couple minutes. Use it as a mouthwash and it is amazing. My mouth never felt cleaner and it actually has benefits to it, not just for you know your your oral health but also for your immunity and such so that's fun um, what else I've used on guard and wild orange together for this recipe specifically and then added some peppermint in there because just to like boost up the peppermint scent that was already there um, but like the cool part about it is you can play and make it whatever like if you love lavender and geranium and you love a more floral situation um, you can use those for your laundry detergent and customize it to you and what your preferences are. If you love citrus, awesome. If you love a more like grounded earthy feel, something like Siberian fir or cypress or a tree, um, juniper berry would be awesome. And of course, there are so many different benefits to each of those oils. So if there's something that you're working toward healing in your life or in your body, um, think about that before you create your recipes and stuff and incorporate them and that way you're getting the healing and the benefits from every angle even when you're not thinking about it. So that's my fave. Um, so I'm just going to pour this back into this uh, reusable container here. And the great thing about it, I'll give you like a pro tip because I've done this a few times now. Try to find something with like a, a lip or if you have like a, a funnel thing. That would be awesome too. Um, it makes it really challenging. The first time I did it because I just didn't have anything and I was trying to make like two batches or something. I don't know what I was doing. Um, I used just like a bowl, but that wasn't great because it didn't have a little like poor lip thing. So it was hard to get it back in the thing. So I'm just gonna come over here. Sorry, I'm leaving you off screen to pour this in. Um, and just note too that this gets a little frothy so if you need to let it settle a little bit, if it's kind of like you made, looks like you made too much, um, you can just kind of let it chill for a second and it'll probably defroth and calm down. And then you can add the rest in your, you won't be overflowing your container here. Um, so yeah, so that's it. I mean, really, without me talking, this was a very quick thing to do. And again, just remember to shake it before you use it every time. <clears throat> Super fun and easy. So if you are feeling like, you know, Easter Sunday is happening and you don't have any plans or you have plans and you're like, what do I do until then? Make yourself <laughs> some um, all natural toxin free laundry detergent that smells like anthropology if you want or smells like whatever you like. Um, and have yourself a grand old time doing some laundry. It also makes doing laundry way more fun because, I mean, really, like, who's... I mean, I'm kind of weird like that, and I kind of do get excited about doing laundry because then it means it's done and things are clean and it feels complete and it's so lovely. But, you know, my top hobby and the way I like to spend my time is not necessarily doing laundry, so this makes it way more fun because <laughs> I know that I'm doing something good for myself. I know that I'm doing something good for... The world I know that I'm not supporting with my money you know something that is causing people harm and and putting toxins all over and all that stuff so 
the more you know. Um, okay, where exactly is your Amazon shop list link? I will post it in the comments in a second. It is on my website if you go there um, to emilycastle.com and go to, I think it's resources, you can find my Amazon shop in there. But I'll post the direct link for you. I think it's, uh, should be amazon.com slash shop slash emilycastleofficial. I believe. I could be wrong about that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's it. I'll post it just uh, to confirm after. But if you go there and you see my picture and you see my shop, then you're in the right spot. What are the oils there? So the oils aren't actually going to be in the Amazon shop. Um, but if you DM me, I'll send you a link. Or we can just hop on the phone real quick and I can kind of walk you through um, if you have any ones that you want in particular or we can chat about it. Um, I also love something that I love to do that I did last night for my grandmother. She's been struggling with um, some intestinal digestive issues, so we chatted on the phone for a couple hours actually, but I should probably be more boundary about it. But we were catching up. We haven't chatted in a really long time, like months, literally. Um, so we were talking about it and I was kind of coming up. I got my, um, my book out of essential oil stuff and it's an amazing book. Um, and it's in my Amazon shop too. I think it's called Everyday Essentials. Let me see. Looks like this. No, not Everyday Essentials. It's called The Essential Life. And this is like the essential oil Bible. It's amazing. It has everything in here about like reflexology points and what each oil does and the benefits of it. And if you have any illness or discomfort, there's recipes in here. Um, if you have any illness or anything, you can look it up in the like index in the back of the book and find it and find solutions that are essential oil based. Um, you can make blends, you can make, it has a lot of great recipes for like um, household products, food, like recipes for how to incorporate essential oils into your meals. It's amazing. Such a good book. This is like, if you were going to buy a book about essential oils, this is the only one you ever need. I've been using it for a few years and it's awesome. Um, so yeah, so if you wanna chat about it, feel free to DM me and let me know and we can hop on a call or something. And if you're having a specific health challenge and you wanna know about you know, what might be a solution that's a natural solution using essential oils, um, doTERRA has a ton of really awesome products. I love, um, so, <laughs> Let me just bring you my uh, daily, daily thing, um, my daily ritual of supplements. So I use this one, it's an essential oil complex that's amazing. One thing I love about, they have a lot of like soft gels and stuff for digestion and detoxification support and just daily use that are awesome. The probiotic is great and the cool thing about this probiotic is I don't love taking supplements typically because they kind of feel like they don't sit well in my body for whatever reason. Like they feel like I'm swallowing this huge thing and it's like not breaking down fast enough or something. But this, if you can see this, it's like a double veggie capsule with essential oils and lots of cool stuff in it. So it actually, for me personally, I don't know if this is like scientifically proven or whatever, but for me, it makes it easier to digest and it doesn't feel like I'm just like throwing a bunch of like dry powdery substances into my digestive system. It's actually much easier for my body to, to use. It's more bioavailable is the way it feels. Um, I also love for women specifically this phytoestrogen essential complex. I've been learning a ton about xenoestrogens in our environment and if you don't know what that means, they are chemicals that mimic estrogen in our environment. And so estrogen is obviously like the main hormone that makes women women <laughs> and you know for like in our development and all this stuff so it actually explains a lot of why girls are getting their periods so young now and why we're having all of these like reproductive challenges and fertility problems and all of this stuff really comes down to there are so many xenoestrogens in our environments in the chemical products that we use in our laundry detergents in our um, like cleaning sprays and all this stuff, beauty products, you name it. Um, and so when that's the case, we're constantly adding estrogen to our body and we need something to actually 
detox, like basically detoxify, pull out the excess estrogen from our bodies that we don't need. That's actually causing a hormonal imbalance, which when our hormones are imbalanced, pretty much everything gets thrown off because especially as women, but men too, especially as women, we are such a hormonal delicacy. You know, we, we cycle through different hormone levels every single week of every single month, almost every day it's different. So it is really important that we have great hormonal health and this helps with that, it helps regulate that, um, which I really love. I also have a great blend if you struggle with like um, PMS or um, cramps during your period or anything difficult like that. Um, there is a really great blend that doTERRA has called Clary Calm. It's a monthly blend for women. You can literally put this, and I've done it, and I have, I've been getting really bad cramps lately because I have an IUD, and I think I'm gonna get it taken out because I really, I'm just not, it's not working well. I've given it a year and it's just not my favorite thing ever. It feels like a foreign object and it feels like my periods are difficult. But anyway, um, this is a great blend and you can literally apply it straight on your belly, like on your abdomen, wherever your cramps are feeling like awful. <laughs> and it'll just take care of it. It's amazing. So this I carry around in my purse with me all the time. I actually have two, one that's here and one that's in my bag all the time because just in case you can help a sister out or you can help yourself out. Um, really love that. Then what else? I want to show you this is so fun um I don't know I should probably wrap this up um someone had asked a question though Sheila hi love can you talk a little bit about your next event on April 7th yes I can I'd love to thank you for asking um so this coming Saturday April 7th I'm hosting an intimate gathering it's a one-day retreat for women entrepreneurs and we're going to be focusing on really doing a lot of strategy that normally doesn't happen because you're in the day-to-day -day stuff of your business. So we're gonna be looking at like the bigger picture strategies in your business, what's the real vision, what's your mission and message, really getting clear on a lot of the things that can go unanswered for a long time and have us feeling like we're in survival mode or overwhelmed or stressed out constantly and unclear. Um, so we're gonna clarify all of that and create some momentum for you and create an action plan and a strategy for your business that allows you to move things forward, allows you to meet your financial goals, um, all of the things. And we're gonna do it together in my home, in sisterhood, and there's gonna be some really beautiful ritual. And of course, the way that I do everything is very much around sisterhood and also having it feel sacred and soulful and not just, um, what if you don't have the business set up yet? Just an idea. If it's just an idea, awesome. If you want, that's perfect. If you wanna come, Great, we'd love to have you. Um, the cool thing about the work that I do is usually, you don't have to, like I work with women who have had a business for 20 years and I work with women who are just starting. And I love that variety because one, when we come together in sisterhood, we're able to um, really learn from each other, both upstream and downstream and see different pieces of ourselves reflected through each other. It's really, really cool. And it helps us, you know, just like when you hang out with like, let's say someone who's older and wise and like a grandmother figure and then you hang out with like your younger cousin or your kid or somebody who's just has that like youthful energy of being at the beginning of things. It's so helpful to have that full range of experience in the room and be able to feel all of it and remind each other that like if you're in business and you've been doing it for 20 years or even five years, there are some things that you probably just don't even question because you've gotten in the habit of it now um, that someone with a new perspective who's just at the beginning is thinking about all these things and they have all this beautiful energy. That's some of my favorite work to do because the women who I know and love and myself too at the beginning of my business and I need those reminders all the time of anything is possible and like let's build this thing and let's do it and that energy is so contagious and so necessary for people who have been at it for a longer time um they need you <laughs> they need that energy they need that reminder and you need them you need their wisdom and their their insight um yeah and how many people will be there um it's designed for a maximum of seven women so anywhere from like 
five to seven, most likely. So yeah, and it's, um, you can sign up on my website. It's emilycastle.com slash events. Um, or you could just go to my website and then go to work with me and events is under there and you can sign up. It's either two payment option or a pay up front option. So whatever works for you. Um, and it is in Charleston. It's in James Island. The other thing to keep in mind is it's the day of the bridge run here. So if you are coming from like Mount Pleasant or you're going to have to go over the bridge to find an alternate route or maybe just consider grabbing yourself like an Airbnb or something over on this side of town so that you can really make this a, an experience for yourself where you're not rushing or feeling crazy or all over the place, but you're able to really receive what you need um, and feel grounded and centered instead of like rushed and stressed out. So yeah, that's it. That's what I've got for you today. Um, I will post those links in the comments below in just a few moments once this video is like officially uploaded. Um, but yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this. I would love to hear your your feedback and your ideas. If you have anything else that you have questions about around like, what else can I do with essential oils or what can I make or what do I, if you're curious about my own personal like routines or practices or things that I do for like beauty products or whatever, what do you wanna know? And I'll make sure to make another video soon to answer that question for you. So feel free to leave some ideas in the comments, I'd love that. Um, yeah, awesome. I have some ideas already, but I would love to hear what you wanna know so that I can actually just make those first for you. And and uh, yeah, okay, have a great Sunday. Have a great Easter if you celebrate. Happy Passover if you celebrate. Happy spring for everyone. Um, and have a great day. I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope it inspires you to go make some of your own stuff today. And Sheila, maybe I'll see you in real life on Saturday. I would love that. Okay. Bye, ladies and men. <laughs> ladies and gents.